Hello there, this is Ray with Easy Simple Mechanic. And today uh, we're gonna work on a couple of little projects that I've been uh, wanting to do actually. It's a little out of the ordinary. It's not typically mechanic work, but a little bit of engineering and ingenuity. Let's get started. You know, we've been working on trying to get some storage. So what I decided to do for now is to go ahead and buy some storage already made. And so here we are. We got a 20 foot container on this side that we're gonna be installing. Uh, we've got a 20 foot container over on that side. I guess you guys can see that over there. Okay, now, and you wonder, how did we get that container into here? How did we get these containers around this corner here? And that's where this engine engineering project got started. Okay, so first of all, you guys noticed that I have an axle underneath that container right there. Well, all those are, are these um, mobile home axles, uh, just old mobile home axles. I pulled the springs off of them so that I could use them to set the container on to be able to roll them. I thought about putting tires on them, but that would make them uh, higher. So I just went ahead and rolled them on the drums. So, uh, basically is to set that up and I put these little uh, pieces of angle iron on this uh, axle right here I, I bolted a piece of angle iron onto the axle so that we could uh, put something in there to hold those in place so when we roll them that they would roll easier okay so you say, how did we get that big old container around this corner? All right, well, let's, uh, let's get over here so we can show you uh, what we did to get started on this project. The first thing we did was, as you guys know, uh, I try to use things uh, for multi-use purpose, right? So, uh, the first thing we need to do is figure out how are we going to lift that container if we had to lift it. So here we are on this truck. And do you think this truck here, this uh, regular F-150 crew cab, can actually pull that container? Well, you may not think so, but it can. And it did. Uh, so we've got a trailer hitch here. And you say, what do we need on this trailer hitch? We need a winch. So the first thing we need, needed to do was make a winch uh, plate for the winch to sit inside there. So let's get that winch out and show you what I did with the winch plate. So the first thing I did was I built this winch plate. It's basically the four... Uh, bolts. Now I tried to keep it light so I used a eighth inch plate and then I just used a receiver here uh, that I had bought at Harbor Freight and then I cut off the pieces that I didn't need. I went ahead and put some gussets in here to support that and then I also went ahead and built uh, the guide here to bolt onto the plate. Now, if you notice, it's a little bit bent because of how I used it. So if you want a stronger one, you can put in a quarter inch plate, but this sufficed for what I needed to do. So that's the first step. So we'll get that bolted onto my hitch and then we'll move on. The next thing we needed to do was to convert uh, this truck 
into a portable wrecker, uh, basically using the truck as a wrecker or a hoist or whatever you want to call it. Uh, but if you guys recall, I built a little A-frame when, when I was doing the frame on the Raptor uh, that held up the cab and the engine while I dropped the frame. Well, I'm repurposing some of that hoist and basically didn't have to modify anything other than uh, these. I had to trim just a little bit off the, these were just about an inch too long. Uh, so I trimmed that up just a little bit to get it to fit uh, right in this rail here. Pulled the tailgate on the pickup, which was real easy. Just uh, pop the tailgate off. And then we just have to put this guy, which we already had, right in here. So we'll just, uh, I'm trying to do this with one hand, but basically, as you can see, that fits right in there real snug. Now that's pushing up against the frame. Uh, so uh, I found that to be pretty stout right there. The next thing I had was those uprights that I had that went in here and went up to the uh, overhead that went on the A-frame. And I didn't have to modify that tube either. That's this guy, right? But what I did do is I took the end off of one of my uh, cherry pickers, my engine hoist, and the bolts that I had that were bolted to the top piece of this that went across the truck, um, I had the holes in here. Now, I believe I had to make the holes just a little bit bigger to fit these in there. But basically what I did is I got an eyelet here that, that just received a bolt through it and uh, an eyelet here uh, that is threaded so that it would have something to hold on to. Okay, now you, these are used in the utility industry uh, for the poles and stuff, for the utility poles to hold the wires and stuff up in the air. So that gave me the idea for these things. They're pretty sturdy. They're not going to go anywhere. Those things will hold thousands of pounds. So that was the next uh, step here was to get something to, to do that with. All right, so the next thing is we got to get this uh, pole inside there while getting the uh, cable from the winch up through the snatch block. Okay, so basically also bought this at Harbor Freight. This is a snatch block uh, that we're going to put on the end of that hook there. And then I'm using just some of these cheap hard freight ratchet strings. These are good for a thousand pounds each. So if you've got one on each end, that's 2,000 pounds. Of course, with the leverage that we use, uh, they're probably, I wouldn't recommend going over three to 400 pounds if you're gonna lift with that. Also, uh, where we wanna hook on is the Ford pickups have those uh, those little hooks on the side right there. So you wanna be able to hook up to those. But like I said, I wouldn't put too much weight on those cause you can buckle your bed or lift your bed. As you can see, I kinda experimented. I took it to the limit. I think I was able to lift 2000 pounds. Of course, not with the uh, those orange straps, I had to put in a heavier duty strap to get that, but you can see my alignment on there is off just a little bit. So I lifted my bed a little bit by pushing that to the limits, but hey, this is my work truck, so no big deal. Uh, what I did to be able to work with those containers, because they are heavy, is I went ahead and I built me these uh, little hooks that bolt right to the frame see there 
yeah, those hooks built right to the frame uh, so that I, it's, I'm using the bed bolts uh, so that it'll help support that. So I used uh, these uh, ratchet straps, these orange ones, to get this lined up where I want it so that it's they're even and everything. So it makes it easy for me to put it into the setup here. And then I go ahead and install a heavier duty uh, strap to help hold the weight onto those other two there. So let me get set up and I'll show you how this goes together. Okay, so what I have set up is I have set up the ratchet strap hooked up on that side, ratchet strap set up on this side. Now make sure they're set to the same length and that you have plenty of slack because you're gonna have to lift this pole up to set it inside that pipe, okay? And then I went ahead and I hung my uh, snatch block right there so that I can have it ready for my record piece because once it's up in the air, it's a little hard to get up there and get that lined up. So if you set the thing up before you do this next move, then uh, it'll be good. Okay, so here we go. So we've got our snatch block on here, our straps on here. So all we have to do is pick this guy up. Now you have a wrecker basically set up. So you have your your winch down there, you have your wrecker there. You gotta make sure that you have uh, the right angle on that. You can either do the math to figure out how much you wanna lift, but the, lo the further down you bring uh, the boom, the more the stress you're going to have on the straps and the pressure there so you got to figure out how much they're good for the higher up you go then uh, you also have more leverage with your winch because it's closer to an upright angle and doubling the strength of that so but if you put it straight up then you can't reach out and get anything so you have to leave some angle there for that so now let me put in the heavy duty strap so that we can have a full uh, setup here where we can pick up those heavy containers. Well, folks, sorry about the, the video on the uh, towing of that thing in here, but uh, my battery ran out. So sorry about that. We didn't get all the video of getting it here, but this is uh, the, the container all the way set down on the ground and setting where it needs to be. Uh, so we got all of that stuff done. Uh, you guys can see that we got it sitting there all leveled out and that's what it takes uh to get that in here but in reality uh that winch or that uh wrecker it's a portable wrecker it takes about five minutes to put together now and i've actually used it quite a bit to help my brother lift some stuff that he couldn't really lift like uh get a boat onto a boat trailer 
and other things, uh, lift some of the engines that I had to lift to, to get moved. But uh, anyways, sorry about the, the video on it. Those heavier duty straps uh, do make a big difference there on lifting heavier stuff. And you wanna make sure you connect it to the frame if it's gonna be kinda heavy. I would guess that the basic, uh, the basic lift would be less than uh, 500 pounds if you're gonna use the bed uh, hooks. Uh, but if you're gonna tie to the frame, uh, this container weighs over 4,500 pounds. So uh, if you lift half of it, uh, let's say uh, the thing was lifting over 2,500 or 2,000 pounds or whatever. So uh, yeah, uh, that's one way of uh, getting things moved or lifted. Anyways, I thought that would be something uh, pretty valuable to folks that want a simple thing. And if you need to lift a small car or anything like that that doesn't weigh much, uh, you can do that. And with that, folks, I guess that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this information was valuable to you. I hope that some of you will be able to use that technique. It worked really well for me. It, it has been working well for me. And it's really portable because I can throw those two metal pieces in the back of the truck and, and go wherever I need to load something or pick something up and, uh, you know, lift it up with that little portable wrecker, I call it. So enjoy. If you like, please share, subscribe. Hit the bell notification so you get notified of new videos. Thank you, and we'll catch you next time.